How's it going everyone? Weston here with GoWesty and today we're going to go over the GoWesty Smart Gauge. This install will be done on a late model two-wheel drive van again. If you have an engine conversion or an air-cooled van, please reference the written instructions. We begin by uninstalling the factory tack. Then using those same screws, install the new tack. Next, take note of the colors on your GoWesty PCB board. If they are white, you are going to need to use the provided white connectors and repin the harnesses. It's critical that when you're repinning these harnesses that you use one wire at a time so that the wire orientation doesn't get mixed up. After you've repinned the connector, verify they are installed correctly by tugging on them and making sure they don't come out. Plug the corresponding connectors on the harness into the PCB board, then connect the other end onto the smart gauge. Using the provided screws, attach the alarm to this section on the back of the smart gauge. Then attach the wires to their corresponding locations onto this terminal block. We then set the dip switches. This part's critical. If you have a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive in, you'll orientate it into that position. Then if the tack signal comes from a coil, you'll set it to coil, or if your tack signal comes from the ECU on an aftermarket system, you'll set it to ECU. The GoWesty smart gauge comes pre-calibrated. But if for some reason the fuel and coolant readings are off, follow these steps to recalibrate the smart gauge. The instrument cluster will need to be reinstalled before smart gauge calibration. If you need to recalibrate the fuel gauge, drain the gas tank and then add back two gallons. Then press and hold the fuel button. And if this is successful, the gauge will sweep and land at the top of the red zone. That's how you know the gauge is calibrated. If the calibration fails for any reason, the fuel warning light and buzzer will activate with a long buzz. For coolant calibration, run the vehicle while it's stationary until the radiator fan turns on, then press and hold the coolant calibration button. Failure or successful calibration will act the same way the fuel calibration did. If you do not have a four-cylinder engine, then you will need to hold the tack button down to cycle through the different cylinder options. The lights will flash the corresponding cylinder amount and be set to that. To factory reset the smart gauge, hold down all three buttons. A long flash of the coolant and fuel warning lights and buzzers will confirm the reset. If you wish to only reset the fuel calibration, hold down the fuel and the tack buttons. If you wish to reset the coolant feature, hold down the coolant and tack buttons only. And that's it. Thanks for following along, and we'll catch you on the next one.